Hi, I'm Erin Wilson, Assistant Curator here at the Museum of Fine Arts and co-curator of the exhibition Pieced and Patterned American Quilts circa 1800 to 1930. I'm so excited to talk today about one section of this exhibition, our crazy quilts. And crazy quilts are kind of this unique phenomenon quilting that lasted from about 1880 to about the beginning of the 20th century. Um, in the world of quilting, they had a very short life, only about 20 years. Um, and that's because they were very unusual. Crazy quilts are, um, very different as far as quilts are concerned. They have a very fractured looking surface and there's an element of chance to them that uh, you don't think of when you think of quilting. So they were inspired in part by the Centennial Exhibition in Philadelphia of 1876. And this was the first time that many in America were able to see work coming out of Japan, despite the fact that, that Japan had actually opened to the West a few decades earlier. So the overlying kind of design of a crazy quilt mimics the fractured surfaces that people had seen on um, crackle glaze bases, um, as you see coming out of Asia. And then to top that off, they added to this appliques such as we see here, really fancy embroidery work. Um, and these quilts were never meant to be used. They were show quilts. Um, and so when crazy quilts eventually fell out of popularity, they were put away. They weren't disposed of, but because they had never been used, they were in still excellent condition. So that's why we're lucky today to have so many wonderful crazy quilts that are not only in this exhibition, but available out in the world that are in absolutely pristine condition. Crazy quilts were constructed of really rich looking materials, velvets, silks, um, taffetas. And so you have these kind of exceptional objects that are not utilitarian in any way. Um, the very fabric they're made out of proves that. What's fascinating about crazy quilts is how excited the American population became over constructing crazy quilts. If you read primary source documents, you'll find letters um, from people looking to find inexpensive crazy quilt supplies and the best way to come across it. Fabric manufacturers started saving the ends of the fabric they were producing and putting it in bags and marketing it as swatches for crazy quilt construction. And what's even more fascinating is the number of poems and songs that came out of this. You can see advertisements for songs like Crazy Quilt Mania and poems that decry the uh, amount of time that women are spending on crazy quilts as opposed to, say, taking care of their husbands. Um, so there is all of this that really became part of this American culture. There are these great examples of late 19th century pop culture between the embroidered um, imagery that reflects um, animals and very popular illustrated figures to the uh, references to Japanese porcelain that you see on the surface. There's something very, very unique and timely to these works that uh, you don't see as much in quilts that have a much more timeless aesthetic. Thank you.